friends, it's time to talk about some of the successes I've had in the garden this week. Uh, well, up to now, really. So this week, uh, my squash, of course, have been going gangbusters, as I'm sure they are in everyone's yard now that our temperatures have picked up and we've stopped having cool nights. Um, so just this morning, one of my Costata Romanesco uh, female flowers with a zucchini on the bottom of it just opened and there are male flowers around. So if you don't know anything about squash, there are male and female flowers on the same plant. So within the same plant they can fertilize, but they need a bug of some kind to come in and pollinate from the, they get the pollen from the male flowers and bring it over to the female flower. Otherwise that little zucchini that you see that's attached to the flower is going to just fall off and die. It doesn't, it won't ever um, create itself. It won't come, become a zucchini or a squash or whatever you have. Uh, and behind me, I've got pumpkins that are, I've just sent them <laughs> off the path. I usually grow my pumpkins down the hillside anyway, so I'm just sending the, the vines down that way so that they can take up that space rather than taking up all of the garlic bed because I do have some new plants in here. Uh, I'm thinking ahead and thinking, you know, we might get squash vine borer or squash bug, something that will eat my uh, plants. So I'm hoping that I will at least get some crop if I continue to succession so. So there are new squash plants in here and I will likely sow again very soon uh, in this garlic bed. All the garlic's been pulled up. Um, I pulled it because it was infested with allium leaf miner, so I had to pull it early, unfortunately. But I preserved that, and the rest of the junk is in the burn pile, so, um, you know, we're, this bed is now open for, uh, to use for squash, so I'm gonna use it to my advantage. And hopefully, very, very soon in the next couple of days, I will get my very first zucchini. One thing to know about my garden is I have a lot of shade here. Because I am on a forested hillside and we don't want to cut down a lot of trees, the maximum sunlight I get is about six hours in any one location, and most of my spots maybe get four. So I have a lot of luck with things like lettuces and uh, shard. That's the next thing. Um, so. Lettuces did extremely well and they're still going. It's not quite hot enough for them to bolt. I've uh, still got butter crunch and mescaline that's, that's popping up. The mustard greens petered out and my kale petered out, but I still have, after that big cut, the last time I, I cut everything down, I've got new stuff coming up and I can probably harvest at the end of this week. So it's amazing how much a little lettuce box can provide you. And for a couple months there, we didn't have to buy lettuce, which was really nice. Um, and now we have shard coming in and the shard will not bolt very quickly and it doesn't get bitter. So I'm really keeping my fingers crossed that my shard continues to produce like it is. And I'll know next year to plant a lot more shard. Uh, another thing that did extremely well is my peas. And I only had a little trellis because I'd never grown this kind of pea before, the Wando peas. So I definitely am gonna be sowing more of those later this summer for a fall harvest uh, because they did so well in my shady patch. So um, it's more dappled shade. I mean, it, it doesn't get full sun where they are, but um, they get, it looks plenty, like plenty. I'm pulling pea pods off. And if I had them going up the fence line, I would have many, many more <laughs> peas uh, than I do right now. But it's that's one of my favorite things to eat so I'm definitely gonna do a fall sowing of peas um, some of the peppers have taken off and some are sort of languishing and it could be some of them are in a little bit more shade I've noticed up at the top a couple the box that's on the left is a little bit slower than the box on the right and I know that's because of shade uh, the tomatoes are going really well um, that's expected and my little sidewalk garden, the thing that has all sorts of stuff in it, is looks great. Um, 
The flowers are just getting ready to pop soon. My zinnias haven't quite popped yet. Um, everything again is slow here because it doesn't get as much sun as say um, a garden in, a, in an open area. Um, I'm sitting underneath one of my trees right now and this is right next to the squash patch. That kind of gives you an idea. Um, we do value our shade a lot so I just choose to grow things that I know will do okay and I try other things out just to see if they'll work. Um, my rutabagas are still undercover. I have a lot of cabbage white um, butterflies or whatever they are flitting around and so I'm definitely keeping them covered for right now and um, keeping my fingers crossed because I haven't really checked under there. I do water and they're, they're getting huge. Um, so I definitely will keep those covers for next go round when I plant rutabagas again. But I did that, that one bed is just sort of a test bed to see how they would do. So when it's time to harvest those, I will bring you along for that. But I have been pulling uh, lots of shard out of here every few days. I'll go and clip some leaves and we'll make up some greens. Um, I'm hoping that zucchini and squash will come out soon. Again, it's slow, so I don't expect to get a huge crop like a lot of people do, but I always get something out of my zucchini. Uh, and I'm stoked to see what, what these will produce. Um, oh, my milkweed is doing extremely well this year because I kept after it with my soapy spray. Normally, I just sort of let those go. And then by the time the uh, monarchs, the caterpillars, uh, come around unfortunately there isn't a lot for them to eat because the the leaves have started to fall off and yellow and um, but I have a lot of really strong milkweed plants so I'm really stoked to see that and I need to keep that in mind for next year so that I go after those milkweeds and keep the aphids off of them uh, right at the beginning so that the uh, caterpillars will have something to eat but I have them sort of scattered all over the yard They've um, spread into some of my beds and that's fine. I leave any milkweed I find, I generally leave it unless it's in a spot where it just, I can't get around it and I'm gonna just trample it. And then I try to dig it up and move it. Uh, but for the most part, any, any milkweed that has landed where it's landed, it just gets to stay. <laughs> um, and then, um, oh, my cactus is flowering now. This is about the time that they flower, right in June. Uh, that was the cactus I rescued from the end of the driveway and I put it in a box so that I didn't have to weed around it because it's a nightmare to weed around. Um, so there are a lot of successes. I do have a lot of bugs here. I'm waiting to see if the squash vine borer and squash bug attack these. I keep my eye out every day I check them and pull buggies off of them. Um, so fingers crossed that we won't have, we won't have a lot of death this year. Um, also the biggest success as usual is my berry patch. I always have great luck with my black raspberries and I've been pulling at least a couple cups. I think yesterday I pulled three, three or four cups off of my little tiny patch over here. So that's always expected. Um, I'm really excited that I cleaned it out this year because a lot of my canes, new canes are standing up straight. So that's going to be a great for harvesting next year. Right now, some of the other canes are kind of laying over so it's hard to get to them because they're all on the ground. Um, so I definitely will be uh, trying to get them to stay upright as much as possible for next year's harvest because it's much easier. So that's all I got for you today. It's just sort of a, I'll show you a montage of all the cool stuff and I wanted to keep it positive and I hope everything is going really well in your gardens. It's been beautiful the last week, great temperatures. I can't complain. Today's gonna be 90, so that's kind of gross, but uh, I can't really complain about it. I really, um, I've had to water because we didn't get rain that we were expected to get, but other than that, I think we're doing okay. So let me know what's happening in your gardens, what things are going really well, and I'll catch you outside.